USP apparatus 2 is a dissolution apparatus also called as paddle apparatus and dissolution method is called as paddle method for the dissolution testing as we know there are different apparatus for dissolution testing like apparatus 1 to apparatus 7 and apparatus 2 is the paddle apparatus as the paddle is used to move the dissolution media that's why the name is paddle apparatus and it is a standardized dissolution apparatus and uh, the method, method is standardized by using the paddle apparatus it is called as usp2 apparatus also and it is the most widely used uh, dissolution apparatus in the pharmaceutical industry you can say that around 80 to 90 percent of the dissolution methods for the formulations are developed uh, by using the paddle apparatus and mainly for the oral formulations paddle apparatus is used it is officially described in the u.s pharmacopoeia general chapter 711 and it is commonly applied for the solid oral formulations like tablets capsules it is also used for the suspensions it is also used for the modified release type of formulations the main purpose or objective of this apparatus and the dissolution method is to evaluate the rate and extent of the drug dissolution and drug release under the standardized conditions always remember that the dissolution conditions are required to be mild in nature and standard parameters are required to be used this apparatus ensures consistent drug release for bioavailability and bioequivalence it is important to understand considering the critical importance in the quality control and the drug development you might have seen this apparatus in the qc lab and also in the analytical method development lab the components of this apparatus are paddle vessel drive shaft water bath or jacket and the sample collection system so paddle is a flat bladed stainless steel paddle rotates above the doses form vessel is transparent sometimes it is amber colored for the light sensitive apis cylindrical and typical volume capacity is 1000 ml drive shaft connects the paddle to the motor and water bath to maintain the minimum temperature of the medium around 37 degrees celsius and it is with the sample collection system the sample collection system may be manual or automatic nowadays automated sampling systems are used operating principle the tablet capsule is placed at the bottom paddle rotates to create a uniform hydrodynamic flow dissolution media mimics gi tract conditions like peristaltic movement you can say samples are withdrawn at predetermined intervals to evaluate the drug release the paddle speed is around 50 rpm sometimes 75 rpm 60 rpm can also be used and for suspension type of formulations the lower speed is used like 25 rpm applications of the usp apparatus 2 it is suitable for dissolution testing of the immediate release tablets film coated tablets soft gelatin capsules and hard gelatin capsules with sinkers and extended release formulations the usp apparatus 2 or paddle apparatus is used when uh, the formulation doesn't float or there is no floating issue and uniform mixing is required typical test parameters for usp apparatus 2 are paddle speed of 50 or 75 rpm but usually it is operated at 50 rpm and 50 rpm is considered as a standard dissolution parameter and mild condition media volume is 500 ml to 1000 ml but usually 900 ml is used temperature of the dissolution medium is maintained at 37 degrees celsius and media type may be like point on normal scl buffers and purified water 
Advantages of the USB Apparatus 2 are it is simple to operate and it is globally accepted by various regulatory authorities like FDA, EMA. It is cost effective and scalable. Consistent and reproducible results can be obtained by using this apparatus. Limitation of this apparatus is that it is not ideal for floating closures forms. If the formulation is floating then uh, you can use sinkers and also you can go for the USB apparatus one that is basket apparatus. It may not simulate the GI hydrodynamics precisely. Cone formation or coning at the bottom of the dissolution bowl at low paddle speed can affect the results. Other considerations. Calibration and performance verification testing PVT is required. Factors like paddle speed, vessel geometry and temperature can influence the variability. Summary of the USB apparatus 2. It is a paddle method and is most widely used for the dissolution testing for IR and modified release type of oral solid formulations. Because of it, sim its simplicity, versatility and regulatory acceptance, it is most widely used. USB apparatus 2 plays a critical role in ensuring the drug products meeting required dissolution specification for the safety and efficacy. So whenever you want to develop the dissolution method, that time you can use USB apparatus 1 and if the formulation is not floating, then you can directly use USB apparatus 2 to get the better release profile. Also, USB apparatus 2 can be operated with different paddle speed and with different media volumes. So, better results can be derived from the method development using USB apparatus 2 or pedal apparatus. Thank you for watching the video.